The honorable member of the member Clareview, followed by Calgary East. Mr. Speaker, late last year we learned that this PC government cancelled the five-year, $16 million early childhood mapping project, which provided vital data about the development of our children. The project's final report shows some stunning results, Mr. Speaker. Less than half of the 70,000 kids included in the study are developing appropriately, physically, mentally, emotionally and socially. To the Minister of Human Services, how can Alberta have a bright future when your government is so clearly failing the children of this province? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The mandate that, that the Premier has given me is, focuses on early childhood development. The early mapping project is incredibly important information. That's why it was continued until December 2015. Uh, it, it's important to note the Ministers of Education and the Ministers of Health are currently working on this together, and we will continue to, to work in the area of early childhood development. First supplemental. Mr. Speaker, given that the ECD mapping project helped to pinpoint the areas where Alberta, Alberta's kids have the highest needs, and given that these studies estimate that for every dollar spent on early childhood education and development programs, eight dollars are returned to individuals and to society later in life, will the Minister of Human Services commit to increasing investment in early childhood development, and if not, why not? Honourable Minister. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'm glad the Honourable Member agrees with me on how important early childhood development is in, with uh, helping our children. We need to get to the root cause. We need to help children. We know that there's great work going on with the Norlean Foundation with brain development. My concern is we're getting at children from zero to five before they get to kindergarten so we can help them uh, get out of poverty, have proper nutrition, and give family supports when they're needed at home. Lamel? My concern is your lack of answer. Mr. Speaker, given that the ECD mapping project paints a particularly troubling picture for children who are in underprivileged socioeconomic environments, and given that the childhood poverty rate has barely changed in the last 25 years in this province with almost 150,000 kids living in poverty, to the same minister, why won't this government make good on the 2012 promise to end child poverty that you were elected on? Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It might be perceived as a lack of a question. I think it's important to, to note the good work that uh, the seven cities across Alberta, the good work we're doing with Mayor Iveson on, the, on the, the task to end poverty that I've been privileged to be able to be a part of. Ending poverty is, is a work for all of us. We also want to support families with the, with the, fa with the uh, primary care networks that are now open in the evening so families can get medical attention they need. There's a whole number of areas, including parent link centres and including all the supports that we provide for families. 